Howdy, it's Kyle talking about what could possibly be the most valuable piece of land in the U.S. It's a huge area that's been owned by the same family for well over 100 years. And since the family's been owning the land, it's been used for the same thing. But in the future, the land might come up for development. Who knows? And this area is so huge. What happens to it could really affect the economy of that state or really even the country as a whole. The land in question is the King Ranch in South Texas. Straight off of Wikipedia, it's 1,289 square miles, which is larger than the state of Rhode Island or the country of Luxembourg. So here's a map of the King Ranch itself from their website. It looks like it uses the same cartography software I was using in college in the 90s. So as you can see, it's not just one large contiguous piece of land, but rather four large pieces of land that come together to form the entire King Ranch. And even though each one of those divisions is not the size of Rhode Island or Luxembourg, you can think of each one of those being about one quarter of the size of Rhode Island or Luxembourg. But either way, it's a giant piece of land, so what goes on there? Going on the website, it talks a lot about the history and heritage of the ranch and how the ranch has played an important role in proper ranch management through the years. So going through the pages here, they do a lot of work to make sure it stays a nice piece of land for both ranching and just for the environment in general. And this is the tone you're going to get from the website here, where they're talking a lot about environmental stewardship, so they're definitely talking the talk in terms of proper ranch management. Part of the ranch is used for hunting and is involved in a large amount of wildlife management. There are also a lot of wetlands on the property, and the area is very important for migratory birds. So check out this really detailed bird checklist they have for bird watchers. They're also heavily involved in brush management and mitigating grassland fires. It also has the King Ranch Institute for Ranch Management, which is run in cooperation with Texas A&M University's Kingsville campus. So as you can see, the family that owns and runs this ranch are doing a very good job of making sure the land stays viable for ranching in the future. But nonetheless, I still have questions as to what might become of this land if in the future the family decides to sell part or all of it off. A wise man named Ted DiBiase once said, Everyone's got a price for the million dollar man, and... That's true. Everyone has a price. What is often the case with many of these large ranches and other agricultural enterprises is that the kids that grow up on the ranch grow up pretty wealthy and want nothing to do with the farm or the ranch once they get older. They want a big mansion in Dallas or in Hill Country. They don't want to have to work on the farm. So many family farms get sold by the heirs to large corporate farming interests. And in just doing a little bit of research, there have been several huge Texas ranches go up for sale in the past few years. Some of these might continue to be a ranch, some of them, who knows? Now, the family that owns the King Ranch is not just mom and pop and a couple of kids. It's a huge extended family of about 60 people, so there are several moms and several pops. So if just one or two people die, it's not going to cause a huge limbo as to who owns the property. But still, a lot of people own it, and everyone has a price. And the reason why I say this might be the most valuable piece of land in the entire country is that this is a highly desirable part of the country in which to live. It's subtropical Texas. There's nothing really around. If you want to escape the cold of the north and retire to the south, South Texas has become a very important, very popular spot to move to. So now I want to go back to the map of the King Ranch, and I want to talk specifically about the Norius Division, the southernmost one. So looking at just the Norius Division, that southwestern part sticking out kind of like a rectangle, that's about 80 square miles. Now look at this map of just South Texas in general. You can see some of the towns, but look at all that empty space. You have the towns of Encino and Armstrong, but all that area around there is just open space, mostly the King Ranch. So there's very little population in the immediate vicinity of the King Ranch itself, but to the south of there, where you get close to the Rio Grande, there's been a lot of population growth right along the Mexican border. So what would happen if some big developer says, hey, I want to buy that southwestern portion of the Norius Division for $10 billion? In that scenario, the King Ranch could sell that portion of it and still have all of that other land to still fulfill their environmental mission. And to give you an idea of how large 80 square miles is, the city of Cleveland, Ohio is 78 square miles, St. Louis is 62 square miles, Pittsburgh is 55 square miles. So you can fit the entire city of Cleveland in just that southwestern portion of the Norris Division. Now this is just a giant piece of land that's mostly open that could be used for just about anything. I doubt it would become a giant city of 200,000 people, but there are so many things that this size of a chunk of land could do. There have already been a large number of people retire in South Texas, but most of that land down there is either protected in terms of Padre Island National Seashore or is open land or is just the King Ranch. 
How many more people would move and retire to South Texas if all this area were developed the same way that Florida is? Now, I really doubt this would become just one big retirement community and golf course, but if the land in this area were to become available to private development, there would be huge demand just because of how valuable this land is based on the location. But if it does become available for development and it doesn't become a big subdivision, what else could it be? There's been some talk in recent years about using some of this land in South Texas to make almost like a new Cape Canaveral, a way for people to just do space tourism, go on a space shuttle, go off somewhere into outer space. And because of physics and math I don't understand, you want space launches to be as close to the equator as possible. That's why we have our stuff in Cape Canaveral and the EU has theirs in French Guiana on the north coast of South America. And since nobody would want to live a couple of miles from a space station launch, you'd want this to be out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere you have a lot of space to grow, somewhere like this open land out here. And now for a completely ridiculous idea of what could become of this land. As crazy as it sounds, there has been legitimate talk of Disney opening up a brand new Magic Kingdom or some type of theme park somewhere else. And of course that sounds completely crazy and probably won't happen, but the reason why I bring that up is because Renovating old things can be just as expensive or maybe more expensive than building a brand new one. Disney World in Orlando is pretty old. It needs to undergo major renovations and Disney is looking at spending billions of dollars in renovating stuff in Florida. Disney World in Orlando is 40 square miles. That's huge, but that's pretty small compared to the King Ranch. Now, I'm not saying that I think Disney's going to shut down Disney World in Orlando and open up a brand new one in Texas, but I want to point out that this area of the King Ranch is just that big. It could fit a brand new Orlando-sized Disney World and still have tons of open space around it. So again, just going back to the map, just half of that southwestern corner of the Norius Division would fit the entire Orlando Disney World. And maybe all this talk is just pointless. Perhaps the family is going to stay true to their word in perpetuity and always keep this land as just ranch and good land management. But none of the people that own the land now are going to be the same people in a hundred years. So will the people in a hundred years feel the same way about the land then as the family does today? So ultimately, we don't know what's going to happen with this land in the future. I just wanted to highlight how big this chunk of land is, how empty it is, and just how empty the area of Texas around it is that isn't even part of this ranch. But if major developments were to occur on this land or even just a part of it, it would certainly have a huge effect on the economy of Texas. And because this land is just so huge, it could have a huge effect on the economy of the entire country. So let's all keep our fingers crossed the people that own the King Ranch are good people. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about geography from a nerdy perspective. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King, signing out. I'd like to give a special thanks to my superior patrons for their support. If you're interested in purchasing a pin for the viewer wall map or just to support the channel, check out my Patreon page, link in the description. And as always, thank you very much.